Well, hello again. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, so uh, I recently watched um, another YouTuber and he was uh, sort of taking a trip down memory lane with uh, Windows XP X64 edition. And it got me thinking, um, my memory um, of Windows XP X64, I seem to recall that um, I didn't particularly like it or there was stability issues or there was something about it that made me move away from it. So today let's test that. So on the bench, um, I have a, some various hardware. Um, we've got a <clears throat> HD uh, 8740 video card. We've got a Asus Zoner DGX sound card. We've got uh, ASRock H77 Pro 4-M motherboard, and we have an um, i5-2400, uh, i5-2400. Um, all of these components, the graphics card, the sound card, the motherboard, they all still list... Um, windows xp x64 uh, on their driver page so um i, I don't feel it's kind of cheating using um, newer hardware which this definitely is based on the release date of windows xp um, this ram i'm not entirely sure if it's going to actually work i'm going to try it anyway if not i have some backup ram that i know works in this board and i'll use it but i want to i want to try that rip jaws um, ddr3 ram all right, uh, without further ado, let's, um, let's get this slapped in the case. And uh, I'm going to use um, Win Setup from USB. Uh, it's on this stick already, so that'll allow um, a person to install Windows XP from USB. Uh, even though there is a CD-ROM, <clears throat> and I do have uh, blank CDRs, um, I don't really feel like installing from CD-ROM. All right, um, I'll get set up in the um, tripod and let's get this thing built. Okay, it's all built. Uh, off camera, I did power it on because I wanted to test that uh, um, <clears throat> HyperX, uh, oh no, sorry, Rip Jaws RAM. Uh, yeah, just as I thought it didn't work, it was way too big capacity to fit. So old RAM's back in, and um, I had to take the graphics card out to get the RAM out because I couldn't open up the clips. And then I, uh, I just moved the drive up one bay because it was kind of in the way of this. Anyway, there we go. It's um, got the proper RAM back in. It does post. I'm going to put it back together and let's get uh, Windows XP X64 installed. Okay, so let's go over Win Setup from USB. Um, I just downloaded it from Major Geeks. I, I trust this site. Um, essentially, this is going to be how we install Windows XP um, using USB because I, I just hate cd-rom installations they're so slow it drives me nuts and then of course you'll need to have an iso of your windows xp and uh, you're going to extract that iso to its uh, um, 
into its folders. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to need the um, quote F6 drivers when I try to boot this system, otherwise it won't see any hard drive. So I've downloaded that. You can inject these F6 drivers into it, and I'll show you that right now. So if we run uh, this, okay, so here it's telling you what storage device is going to be used. I'm just using a NTFS formatted flash drive, and we're going to tell it where is the Windows XP extracted ISO. So it's in this folder. Okay, it's going to tell you you got to accept the agreement. Sure, why not? And then we need to uh, we need to go to the advanced options, and we need to tell it to put custom F6 image drivers in. And it's going to be looking for um, like an IMA or an IMG or whatever file. But when I downloaded the driver from the Asus or from the ASRock website, I don't have an image or an IMA file. So I'm going to use uh, a program called WinImage and we're going to create an IMA file. So let's run uh, WinImage and we're going to uh, make a new 1.44 megabyte floppy. Okay, and then we're going to go to where our extracted uh, F6 drivers are. And let's just drag these over. Do you want to inject these? Yes, I do. And then we're going to save this. And I'm going to choose an IMA file. And I'll just call this uh, H77, I don't know, F6 as an example. And we'll put this on the desktop. Uh, I'll put it inside this folder and save. Okay, so there we go. Now we have uh, an image of the F6 um, drivers for Windows XP. Okay, so we can get rid of uh, WinImage. I'm going to select this again. And we'll go to desktop. There's our image file that we just created. I'll click open. All right, so we have our, our destination picked. We have the source files picked. And we have um, given it some custom F6 floppy drivers. So we can now just click go. And yeah, this will do its thing. Doesn't take too too long to to uh, create a um, USB media to boot from. So yeah, once it's done, I'll um, meet you back at the um, built system on the bench. Okay, we're back at the bench. Let's power this thing on. I'll start spamming the uh, BIOS boot screen hotkey here, which is F F11 on this board. Okay, so we're going to boot from the USB. And so the only option you can do is hit enter. So now we're going to load, um, we're going to load the F6 drivers. So we'll just hit enter. Okay. And now we're going to do the first part of uh, Windows XP X64 installation. Okay. So, um, I don't think this is anything to worry about. There, there was an i386 folder in those uh, F6 drivers, <clears throat> which obviously is 32-bit. So let's just specify an additional device. C216, which is, I think, what we need to use. So let me just hit Enter on that one. And let's hit Enter to continue. And with any luck, once we get to the installation screen, or, well, where you can pick your hard drive, it should be there. Okay, so let's press enter to continue. And yeah, there you go. Here's the, uh, there's the large uh, solid state drive. Well, quote, large. <laughs> By XP standards, it was large. So we're going to choose that one. And we're going to format it quick. 
And we're going to press F again to format. Okay, and then the installation will just move on in its normal course. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Okay, here we are. We're at the desktop. Now, obviously, we don't have any drivers. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go collect all the drivers on that same USB. Yeah, I just kind of want to set it up. And then let's, let's, put some, uh, let's put some games that I still have kicking around on the shelf and, and some that I've uh, <clears throat> acquired. And uh, let's just see how it goes. Back in a bit. Two thousand years later. Okay, here we go. Drivers are all done. Uh, we have ourselves a completely clean device manager. No drivers missing. Um, so far, so good. No, no particular issues to report. Um, everything seemed to install just fine. Nothing crashed. So yeah, excellent. Maybe let's uh, check out a few games. All right, let's check out some uh, single player Call of Duty. Listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs. Do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will move toward the center of your compass. Approach your current objective. That's it. Close enough. Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry butt here too, huh? Hey, good luck. Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over them! Come on, Elder, get the light out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns. <laughs> Sergeant Moody's going to take you Eyes to the up, weapons private. training. I'm up here you, in the observation right tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. There. Fire six more rounds at your target in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving and in the crouching or Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. All right. I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. Two rounds at your target. First from the hip and aiming down the gun sight. Compare your accuracy and get used to firing both ways. Move on to the next area. Partner, that's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. 
This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it to. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. The UNAFCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for I saw a bomb. somebody. Something funny about that guy. Three, two, one, go! You play second. All right. Well, there you have it. There's the uh, Windows XP X64 edition install. And I messed around with a bunch of games. Um, I've actually um, <clears throat> just uh, finishing my second day with this uh, computer. And I've, um, I've uh, played around with it plenty. Honestly, it's stable. It didn't crash. I didn't see anything... Uh, that was odd or actually I didn't even see anything like I remember. Um, so either I'm remembering wrong or this particular setup, this build is um, better than or more stable than what I had back in the day. I will say one thing though, this thing's an absolute beast. Um, if I could go back in time and give myself this system, my goodness, that would be sick. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, like, and subscribe and comment for sure. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.